this project uh, shows uh, a part of my small compact tractor of a New Holland 21 horse three cylinder little diesel that I use for yard work, mowing, and uh, uh, cleaning up around the barn. We have a small hobby farm. This, uh, what you, you see in the video right now, is actually the left loader arm of a little front mounted loader. And uh, it actually failed on me here uh, a week or so ago. I was moving snow. We've had a fair amount of snow in the last couple of weeks. And I was using it a week ago, and I noticed that the something wasn't quite right with the loader. And uh, I checked it out, and what I discovered is that the this this uh, vertical this actually is setting vertical right now it normally would set like this, and the this uh, component right here actually started uh, I probably through fatigue and flexing metal fatigue it started to crack and it uh, what I'm showing you right now is, is after the fact that it's already been repaired you can see where the uh, welder I had it professionally done I'll explain that a bit later stitched it, he, they pulled it back into position because it actually had started to work this way and it actually split this is the top side to the left and actually split, started to split here and sag this way this member can't move so as the weight was put on the loader it started to twist and started to rip or split right here working its way down so they had to pull it back into position, fixture it uh, on a metal table, a welding table and they restitched it here so that shows that's the actually the inside the side. This is the side that goes up against the tractor. So you can see where it was stitched here. Um, they also, you can just see where they stitched it right here as well. And uh, over here they didn't stitch it. They really didn't have to because the metal here hadn't failed because it started again from the from the top this way so the metal was intact. A little, a little bent perhaps but it wasn't ripped here. On the other side, which is where the real repair was done, um, again on, this is really a hollow channel here right here and you can see the factory plate that was installed. Very thin metal by the way. This loader is rated, I looked it up just to be sure, but the the loader is actually rated at 750 pounds, in other words, capable of lifting 750 pounds. Rarely, I don't even know if I've ever had 750 pounds in this in this uh, loader because again, it's used for cleaning up around the barn, moving wood chips in the spring and summer, push around a little sand, that kind of thing. But anyway, this is a factory plate. So what the repair shop did they, after straightening, of course, they replated it with a pretty heavy piece of metal here and then stitched it along the senior. They did a good job on it. I, I told them it was worth it to me. I didn't want any quick little tack job. Actually, they, they put a nice bend to follow the profile, the original profile, and stitched it all the way around. So they did a, a, a very nice job. And again, here you can see uh, where they stitched it on the side. I showed you that a few moments ago. So this is, um, as I got it back from the repair shop yesterday, and uh, it cost me $90 to have it welded. I do have my own little MIG welder, uh, 230 volt MIG welder that I'm fairly handy with, but uh, given the fact that I really don't have a table uh, of any kind to, to work with something as heavy as this to try to get it back into position, uh, I didn't really want to uh, not do it correctly. So I took it to a local repair shop that's pretty well known and uh, they do they generally do very nice work so I was pretty confident when I dropped it off there it took them about three three four days my next step now obviously is I will clean this all up uh, the, the welds the plate anything that's now raw steel I'm going to clean it up prime it and paint it let it dry a day or so and then I'll remount it on the tractor I do have to get it going because we've been having a fair amount of snow here we had probably oh I bet we had six inches or so overnight and uh, I'm going to need to get this back in service here in the next day or two so I can use it. So I'll come back to this later when I have it um, primed and painted and show you the finished product. Well, here's the finished product. I painted the loader frame uh, yesterday, let it dry overnight, and then I installed it this morning. It went together pretty easily. 30, 40 minutes I had it all buttoned up. 
But uh, here's the repair <clears throat> one side of it. You can see it was stitched. You can also see where I had pulled the serial number plate off because I wasn't sure exactly when they welded it what they were going to get into and I didn't want the serial number plate um, damaged in any way. So I have that. I'll, I'll be putting that back on once I pick up some appropriate uh, rivets. I just had to draw out some little rivets and I don't have any rivets small enough and so I'll stop and pick some of those up here. So you can see where it was stitched and you can see the paint. I was more concerned with making sure it was covered than being pretty about it. It is pretty, uh, pretty well covered though. So um, this pin had to come out here. This pin had to come out here. These bolts just come out and then the pin is just you just tap it out from the inside to the out, outside. <clears throat> and then it's free. Uh, the cylinder here will be free. The top of the beam will be free. And then uh, you have to undo these bolts to get this top piece of the frame out. And then you can just pop it right out. The inside of the repair, which is where the real serious work was done, is right here. And you can see the welder painted, I'm sorry, he um, plated it. Made a nice curved plate here. So he made a whole new plate. This plate was not here um, before, so that's all new. <clears throat> so they straightened it, obviously, and made a plate, and then welded it in place like this. And again, it's been repainted primarily as pro more for protection than for looks. This is a working tractor. So, so though I do I take quite good care of it mechanically, I'm pretty fussy about that. I, I don't get hung up on the aesthetics um, kind of thing because it's, uh, it's in use frequently. Um, so it's in good shape mechanically, but it might be a little dirty. But anyway, that's the repair. The loader went back on. I think they did a, uh, easily. I think they did a great job getting it straight and aligned. I had no problem with any kind of alignment, so we've had a fair amount of snow here in the last couple of days. In fact, it's snowing out right now. I think I'll go out and try it out. <clears throat> Got cleared a little space around my barn, that kind of thing, manure pile, and uh, see how she works.